Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldeck, and today I'll be showing how to use the UVM Register Generator in Riviera Pro. The UVM Register Generator is used to create register model files to incorporate into a UVM environment to use the register abstraction layer of UVM. Automatically generating models for the RAL is particularly time-saving, considering modern designs can consist of thousands of registers, and coding those by hand would be a tedious and error-prone task, yet still a crucial aspect of the verification of the design. The register generator is a command line tool that can use a register specification input file to generate a UVM register model which you would then integrate into your UVM test environment. First we're going to look at preparing the register specification files. Your register specifications can be accepted in either a CSV or IP exact XML format. We're going to explore examples of both of these to get an idea of how they should be assembled. First we'll take a look at the CSV register description file. Here at the top of this CSV we have the header which will define all of the columns for the rest of the file. The column names are not case sensitive but unknown columns will be reported with error messages. The following rows will contain one of the following three, data, empty data, or comments. The rows for data are defined by the column it falls in. Rows for comments are denoted using two slash marks and will be ignored during generation. The rows that don't define any data should be defined using an accepted char character, like a comma, and will contain empty cells. Next we'll look at the IP exact XML description. The main implementation for IP exact description is to generate a registered model from a protected IP. Since the preparation of an XML formatted file will be time consuming, it is usually provided by the IP component since it is an accepted EDA standard. If not, there are open source tools available that can create IP exact components such as Cactus 2 software. In the case it needs to be coded by hand, the format would look like this, where the component is declared, and then any memory map, and then the address block, and then the registers are declared, and inside these declared registers are the various fields that comprise them. The XML description has to be a complete and valid declaration of the IP component with compliance to the IP exact standard of the two most recent versions which are 2009 and 2014. When it comes to register generation from these input files, it is important to make sure they are error free. If the register generator tool detects errors, the output file will not be generated. There are two stages of input verification, which are validation for IP exact standard and verification of register model. There are rare cases where the user may find the validation to be too strict and it can be disabled using a skip validation argument, but it is not recommended to pass that argument if not necessary. The second stage of verification will detect problems that would cause errors in the generated UVM register model, such as wrong component identifiers, overlapping of registers, wrong access policies, etc. If problems like these are detected, register model generation is aborted and alerts the user to the problems. If the user wishes to debug these issues after model generation, the argument skip check can be passed to disable this level of input verification, but yet again is not recommended. Uh, next we'll look at the register model command line tool. You can call the command within a script that's being used to set up your UVM environment. Use it in the console or some other command line application. The main arguments for this tool will be indicating the input file, which would be either CSV or IP exact, specifying the output directory, and whether or not to generate a test case. Some differences may exist when using the IP exact files because you can indicate the IP exact version as well as directly specify the name of the memory map to be generated in the register model. I have three example commands that could be used in a script or entered into the console to use the register generator. The first command uses a single CSV file and will generate a test case for the generated register model. The generated test case contains a basic structure for a UVM test environment in which the generated model package is imported and instantiated. This may be useful for checking correctness of some registers or use it as a model to understand how to instantiate it into a user test environment. The second command generates a register model using two CSV files, where the first file contains register field definitions and the second file instantiates registers defined in the first file and defines their addresses in the memory. You could also generate multiple packages from one input CSV file. This third command shows how to use an IP exact file for generating a register model. It indicates the IP exact version, which is 2014. We're going to use the first command for an example. 
When we execute the command, we receive a message in the console indicating it successfully generated two files. Register model and test case with zero errors and zero warnings. We can reload the package and explore to see what the generator has done. The regdut package shows the different registers that exist inside of them and defines the register fields for each register. At the bottom of the file we can see it's created two register blocks and created register maps for each. From here we're going to go ahead and take a look at the generated test case. We can see that the register model is imported into the environment at the top. If we move down to the build phase we can see that the register model was also instantiated. The only thing required from the user at this stage would be to connect the register model with the DUT which would require setting the sequencer and adapter in the model map. These are the basic requirements for integrating the register model into your UVM environment. Now, there are some limitations to what is supported with the register generator, as far as accepted operators and constructs. You can check out the Revere Pro Reference Manual for a full list of accepted syntax, tags, and attributes. You can also find a full CSV tutorial for the register generator available in the Revere Pro installation directory. Well, that's all on this video for UVM Register Generator. Thanks for watching.